Well, that's weird. Where do you even keep your costume? Hey, May, thanks so much for your help last night. Woke up and realized I completely imposed in a big way. Thank you, I really appreciate it. I'll be at work cleaning up after last night if you want to say hello. Hey, dude, sorry I couldn't hang last night. Angus says he's sorry, too. Band practice today because I'm in charge and I say so. Off work, too. Bye. All right, so now I know that I can pop by there to say hello to her and go to Greg when I want to end it all. Heh, <laughs> end it all. Hmm. We're all looking a bit older, I guess. We're to take, uh, li like, one moment and make it, like, the official version of us. You're just, like, the same every day? What is your bird existence like? Do, 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 we have any detective books out here? Of course. Of course we do. Do we have any books about ghosts? Like, real-life ghosts. Do we have any books for nut jobs? I guess. No, this is good. Research is good. Confront the problem head on. Not You're not losing it, dude. You're, in fact, keeping it very close. What was that about? I wonder if the new working clock downstairs thinks this clock is scary. Big old a thing upstairs. Like you, but different, huge, and spooky. Making weird noises at night. God, I can't find this thing spooky. It's a piece of granddad. We need more of those. Poor, poor May. Also, Aunt Malkop is kind of creepy in her own way. Also, why do I have a tooth? I forgot that I had a tooth. Why is the entryway to the basement like... Like a small door? Hey, hun. Yeah? Come say hello, why don't you? You're not feeling anything uh, bad about yesterday. Hey, hun. Hey, mom. You look really tired. So do you. Also, I have a splitting headache. Well, the weather seems to agree with you. Grain drizzly. I could go for that today. Hey, hun. Yeah? Sorry about yesterday. Me too. I said some stuff. Didn't really mean it. Well, whether you meant it or not, but isn't how we should communicate. I don't want us to stop talking. I just don't want to repeat of a few years ago. I'm really sorry, Mom. About all of it. Hey, May, you okay? I'm fine. Guess I'm stressed, too. Saw some weird stuff last night. Or I think I did. Want to talk about it? Later. I'm still putting it together. Can we talk about school? Also later. Well, make sure that we ran out of dialogue options with you. So, what are you stressed about? Well, I guess you're a grown-up now. Just spill it, Mom. After your incident a few years back, as you know, we went into some debt soup moving that over. Jeez, I'm still sorry about that. It's in the past. Let's not go back over it. Okay. When it came to get you off to school, we took advantage of a kind of mortgage to make sure you were taken care of. Okay. Well, it turns out it wasn't a very good deal. I just feel so stupid. They like to offer those mortgages to people who maybe don't have a lot of money and aren't used to getting offers like this. Why? Because the bank took advantage of us, and now they own the house, and we owe them more than what it's worth. What does that mean? It means we're not sure how long we have into the future we'll have this house. Holy crap, we're in trouble, huh? And I'm a huge jerk. It's okay, sweetie. Don't worry. Oh, that sucks. What you reading? It's a book of the unsolvable murders. Did they all happen? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Sure. Want to hear a real teaser? Sure. All right. There's a man lying dead in the kitchen with a bullet wound in his head. There's a man there with him. He's got some blood on his right hand, but no gun. Huh. Last thing, the dead guy has a scar on the back of his head. Do you know the answer? Well, I don't know if there's one answer. It's supposed to get you thinking. About murder? Can't solve a murder without one. Okay, so I have a question. What kind of scar does the guy have? A straight line, a few inches across, hidden under the hair. Hmm. 
Okay, I think I got it. Wow, what you got? The guy in the room is a surgeon. He implanted a magnet into the guy's skull. That's why he has that scar. Then the suspect used a super magnet or something on the dead guy's forehead, which pulled the magnet out through the dude's head. <laughs> That's why he has blood on one hand. Yep, and I bet the murder weapons are stuck to the fridge, holding up a pic of Aunt Dottie. Oh, bravo, sweetie. Thank you, thank you. We'd make quite a pair of investigators. Could open a detective agency in town. Could use one right now, probably. Always work for crime solvers. All right, gonna get going. Love you, daughter detective. You too, Inspector Mom. Ah, it's moved over. Happy, happy family. It's nice. <laughs> and I like unhappiness, and it's nice that they're happy now. Kind of drizzly. Hope depressing stuff doesn't happen. Well, road construction's done this way. Uh-oh. Later. Before Greg. But after Bia. Rolling around in the speed of sound. Got nowhere to go. How's it going, Selmers? Oh, well, how how was your Halloween? Weird. Went to harvest. Saw some messed up shit that I think was real. Then had a really bad nightmare. Ooh, cool. I stayed in a candy and watched TV. Halloween episodes were on. Well, I was out living a Halloween episode, okay? Whoa. Yep. Want to hear a new poem? Sure. Autumn wins, autumn sins. Okay. Autumn times, autumn crimes. What counts as an autumn sin? Cheating on your wife. With some gas station skank. <laughs> In November. Oh, right. That's, uh, con inconsiderate. Hey, Mr. Chesikov. Yes, Elma. You're gonna break your neck someday. I will make sure to fall right on you. <laughs> well, I'm big enough target. <laughs> I'm bigger than you. We should be covered. You too. Leaves, leaves, leaves. Is that a poem? Nope. <laughs> <coughs> the missus varnished this porse herself. Don't go tracking mud all over it. Whatever you say, my dude. My man. Damn it! There we go. Foggy, and the right opened up, which isn't a good sign. There was also the sinkhole. Not sure what became of that. <laughs> Miss May Borowski. Present. Mm, smell the autumn winds. Yeah, real hard to miss it. One should not miss such a thing. Talking of, want to see some stars? Yeah. Come have a look. Is it going to happen again? My eyes! This is your own fault at this point, I would say. Give me that star. Found one. Let's see. Big snake. Big snake? Yep. Anything else? Big snake emerged from the earth and made war upon the villages. What villages? You know, villages. Okay. And as he wrapped himself around them, the villagers saw that they were encircled by the same Big Snake. And they came together, and together slew the Big Snake. You learn. Why did Big Snake attack people? Do you have any do you have sympathy for the Big Snake? Jeez, I don't know, but can we just keep saying Big Snake? Big Snake. Big Snake. Big Snake. That's adorable. Yeah, stars. There we go. Star located, Captain. Let us consult the guide. Oh, you will like this one. Really? Because they are dead. Okay, yeah, I'm into it. Turn the medium. 
In life he spoke with the dead? Really? Who knows? But when he died, his own spirit returned and spoke through him. Wait, that's dumb. How so? That's just called being alive. Not so! His body was dead. So he's like a zombie? But just as smart as before. No looking for brains. So like normal, but he smelled bad. Just so. Why did they make this guy into a star? Have no idea. I guess that's kind of impressive. Dumb, but impressive. So what's the moral of this one? Moral? Yeah, usually star things like have this some sort of moral. Sometimes things are just strange. That's the moral? <laughs> that is our pair for the day. Well, gee Wilkers, Mr. Chazakov. <laughs> Wilkers. <clears throat> Wow, that was pretty great. Yes, that was. More in a couple days. To be a Angus around everywhere else. Then the creepy forest. Still upset that I didn't hang out with Greg because of a stupid mirror fuck. To the underground, Mr. Johnson. Will Hummer? Hummer's not here. We'll say the same thing? Yep. Anything else happen in here? Just the kids. Hey, uh, kind of a weird question, but is anyone missing? What? Like anyone you know who was out last night and didn't come back? Uh, I don't think so. What's going on? Nothing. Thought I saw something. Okay, uh, you should tell us if this is something. Just be careful, okay? Keep an eye out. And let me know if you see anything weird, okay? I mean, you all hang out together constantly. You're safer than anyone else I know. This is all over the place. We have the characters, we have her backstory, her doing something to a kid that put her family into debt. That's kind of sad. That's fucking sad. We have some problems with the friends, mainly because, like, uh, Angus and Greg, while well, nice, also having uh, some arguments. That's sad. And then we have a few other things going on. It's like, there's so much, but it's so simple, so can... Not a little constrained, but put together well. Hello. Hey, hey, church mom. Hey, hey, heathen daughter. Oh, I'll make it in here someday. But come on, seriously, no one likes getting up on Sunday. I find it very enriching. Your father does too. But he attends, and that's important. And he knows it means a lot to me. All right, well, guilt thoroughly tripped. You do work for the church. That's not what faith is like, hun. There's more grace than condemnation. Kinda. Whatever. Alright, I'm out. See you later, sweetie. Happy that family stuff is resolved happily. So what we do, we beat up the ghost, we take his wallet, pay off the family debt. Done! I guess Kate is still by the fire-breathing statue. Hope things don't go bad. Because if things go bad, I'm going to be a little mad. I like Bruce. Probably should have made this reference earlier, but... Does that mean there's a man in the woods? Be careful if you're a stupid kid. Then again, we did find an arm, but... The horror movies. The mouse. I don't feel right about it. I know, but sometimes the right thing doesn't feel right. I just think it's just wrong to take something when folks don't want you to take it. Well, I feel like God would see this differently. I do, at least. Hmm. That's because you're a good person. Hey, hey. Hey again. Hey. So I had this real bad dream last night. Me too. I dreamed I was a pizza, and I was afraid someone would slice me up. Jeez. Yep. 
This just makes me sad. We don't have pizza place anymore. Gotta order it from out of the high out by the highway now. Tragic. I had a dream I was a goose flying south, and I had to keep up with the other gooses, or I'd get lost. That's sad. Twerent a good dream. What are y'all what are y'all talking about? Big meeting coming up. City council. Yep. About about Bruce here. Wow, that's intense. We'd appreciate your prayers. This is precisely the kind of time where God shows up. Hope so. Me too. Good luck, Brucifer. See if the emo kids are around. Never did find their uh, their pentagrams. Can't see the p pentagram here anyway, so... But the one thing I like is that there's not too much formulaicness to it all. Like, yeah, you go around talking to the same people, doing the same stuff, but it still feels new. Like, the things that are routine are, like, life routine stuff. Like, oh yeah, I go here because I work here, I go here because I like here, and you meet people there, and, but there's nothing like, oh, it is the same thing again and again because again. I don't know. just like it. But I swear, if the kid getting knocked out and going into the woods... Shut up, birdie. Shut up, doggo. I just hope that it's actually some... Uh, well, actually, eh. I want it to be intense, but at the same time, I don't want it to be too intense because I care about these characters. Weird that we didn't see May go home, though. Plastic flowers are, like, super depressing for some reason. Dead flowers are less depressing than plastic ones. Nope, still locked. Copped and locked. We gave this place mice. I was looking just in case. My babies have left the nest, so nope, doesn't seem like much is changing there. Still, they give you the option, so things... Now we talk to the kid, make sure the kid's okay. Maybe talk about the ghost. Woots. Did you go to harvest? Yeah, ended up in a play because my friend BS screwed it up. Cool, I ate pizza and watched Blood Gordon. A Gorgon, Blood Gorgon? Italian movie from like the 1980s. Lots of blood, but it's like theatrical and stuff. Girls boarding school. Bunch of ghosts kidnapping them. Taking them to the to the blood gorgon. Yep. Is someone wrong? Is something wrong? Nah, just I think I saw a ghost or something last night. I'm not sure. That sounds kind of awesome. It was like the opposite of awesome. Oh, sorry. It's cool. I'll see you later. Good luck with your ghost problem. Thanks. I'll make sure nobody's over here that worth talking to. Where'd that one person go that was talking to the other person? Was like, ah, don't quit. Maybe things will turn around. Talk to Bia. Hey, Bia. Hey, uh, thanks again for last night. I owe you one. It's fine. It was fun. My night got, like, really weird and bad after. How so? Tell you later, I guess. Still putting it together. Okay, well, let me know how it goes. I will. I think it's band practice day? Yeah, I'm gonna go hunt down Greg. Shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, no, he's at Snack Falcon. I don't know how that guy stays employed. He steals constantly, breaks supplies for fun, and leaves work whenever he wants. Greg plays by his own rules. It feels more like the world plays by his rules. Whoa. I don't even know what that means. Still, whoa. Greg doesn't defy the world. The world bows to Greg. War some bullshit. You hear me, statue? I guess you were drafted. Ugh. You died before you got to enjoy the statue they made of you. It's garbage. They can't make me go to war. I'll go underground. I'll join some sort of group that's against war and stuff. We'll blow up war stuff and sabotage other war stuff. 
I'll live in shadows for decades. No address, always on the run, living on a trailer in the desert. It'll be awesome. Video Outpost Tulsa. You up for band practice in a bit? I guess. Weird night. How so? I'll tell you about it later. <laughs> That's your answer for everything. I'll tell you later. Except for the one girl who's like, I thought I saw a ghost. Maybe. He's like, ah, oh, cool. He's <laughs> like, it's not that awesome. Whoa. Is someone moving in? Probably something dumb. I miss you, pizza place. Past abilities. Gone. Gone is the possibility. It's wet again, and I'm cold again. It's just rain. Hey, uh, why are we still standing out here? Someone has to. Minor fourth wall breaking. Alert, alert. Personality has been injected. Hi ah, hi ah. Can't make it. But I can look. What? That means you can get up there. How? Tell me your secrets! I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get there. Yep, you can get up there somehow. Let's go Let's go Break down these, uh, these things. That's a bad game. Oh. Hey, dude. Hey, you? Working here now? Yep, sucks. But it pays. Question, how do they fit a kitchen in there? Barely. What do you do here? Grill man and janitor. I cook and mop. At the same time? Yes. Head out to the place where we saw the ghost and probably have something happen to us. Yay! And then walk to the forests that's right near our home. Then talk to people. Hey. What's up, kid? <laughs> Smell weird. Why is my aunt's car here? That's your aunt? Yeah. Oh, weird. Like, makes you half cop. You'll never ca half catch me, half cop. Ha 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 I don't know what they're doing up there. Huh. You got to harvest? Nah, I'm over it. Cool. I had kind of a weird time. Weird bad time, actually. It's a guaranteed weird bad time. Yeah. Are those people from yesterday still there? Don't know. We're not, like, good friends or anything. Oh, yeah. I don't know why I thought you'd know. I was wondering if they ever met Casey out there somewhere. I can ask. I used to ask. I just hate thinking about him out there all by himself. Uh, Casey's tough. He'll be fine. When you gotta go out, you gotta go out. Yeah, I guess. Well, see you at band practice. Real talk, do you actually like watching us play? Yeah, I mean, you're not good, but yeah. Not my style. What is your style? Black metal, uh, thrash, crossover, hip-hop. I like Witch Dagger. They're kind of metal. Oh, yeah. Like that Doom shit, right? Da -da 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 -da. Totally. What? You know, one time a guy f followed me home. Like, a guy from the tracks. What did you do? It was like some night back in the summer. And out of the corner of my eye, I could, could've, I could kind of see this dude take this turn out of the parking lot and start creeping up that hill. Like, 50 feet back. But, like, I didn't want to look at right at him. I... I took a detour through the woods and sat in a tree. It was getting dark, but, like, I could see him standing just off the road, waiting for me to come down. Holy shit. What did you do? After it got dark, I climbed down and got up the hill real quick. Ah! It was a weird bad time. Ah! I'm so upset right now. Haha, <laughs> I know, right? See ya! Maybe Aunt Mall Cop's here. 
What were you doing out here last night? <laughs> I saw someone kidnap someone, like a kid. Tell me what you saw again. Someone in a big old coat with someone over their back. Uh-huh. And you chased them down here? Yeah, I... Yeah, and I got to the fence and they were up in the woods. All right, thank you, May. I knew you were just gonna brush this off. May, there's been no missing person reports. That tends to happen when a kid goes missing from something like Harvest. Hell, I got six calls about kids that's out too late. There would be a report. I'm reporting this. I'm right, this right here. This is a report. May, there's no break in the fence. So? So unless someone could jump this thing while carrying a teenager, who hasn't been reported as missing. Any theories, May? No. I was running around half the night, getting after teenage bullshit, and people scared of clotheslines and noise. I, you, 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 argh! Are you trying to kick off a horror movie? No one believes the girl who saw the ghost. Well, I have bad news for you. The cop always dies. I'm sorry, we're talking about a ghost now? It must have gone through the fence. Really, May? Yes! No, yeah, I don't know. I'm really tired. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Will you at least check the woods? May, me and Dan McCline were up there this morning because of what you said last night. From the fence up to the old mine, we found a couple teenagers on a gross mattress. We saw some weird-looking deer and one deer hunter out too early. That can't be it. That is it. Wow. The cop always dies. <laughs> Well, now this is very weird. No missing persons report. No way they could have gone... But we heard the clink of the fence. We heard the clink of the fence. Can't you climb the fence? Alright, now we head to the woods to the right. A little bit of a shortcut, not really, but kind of, I don't know. Go all the way around. And check out the woods before band practice. Don't worry, pierogi man. No reason to steal from you now. I already stole from you three times in a row. Never got caught. No chopping my hand off. Choppy, no chopper. Jumping around at the speed of sound to go to the woods is probably gonna creep me out. Wonder what's gonna be down this way. Let's check out the woods. Farming. I could farm. If I stay in town long enough, I could see getting into farm life. The problem with farms is that it, the amount of poop. Like, even if you don't have animals, you actually buy poop or something and shovel it all over the place. It's madness. It's poop madness. Meh. Yeah, not wrong. It's the bridge. I can just sit here. Bridge freezes before road. Welcome to Possum Springs. After this, a few miles and you go under the highway. And it's just rolling fields and farms. I miss the corn mazes this fall. And the haunted barn and brittle. Always next year. For campfires and corn dogs. Weird that the town ends like... Bam! Right here. There's like a line. Somewhere. That no one can see. But you can put it on a map. Just kind of atmospheric little walk. I like that. Just 
little bit of an atmospheric walk and thumbnail shot. Hmm. Weird that they just kind of open this place up now. Also kind of weird how they arbitrarily kind of locked off the food donkey. But that one works better to me than the food donkey one because instead of like, okay, now you're going to go, we're going to go to the food donkey. Instead, this is just like a small little thing that you can do if you choose to. And I was like, I choose to because I love this game. Still hate myself for not seeing Greg on Har uh, Harfest. Hey, but what can you do? Gotta play into the song. Hopefully, I get another okay. Hello, Mr. Parogi. Bouncing around seeing people that I can see People like me everywhere that I go and I see the show Maybe this is Bosom's Brings my home that I have known since I was born Sup dude Ugh Ugh Long night, weird night. What's up? I'll tell you at band practice. Cool. What you up to? We gonna head out to band practice? Yeah, let's do this. Back to watch this fiasco again. Yep. You're our only fan, Germ. I'm just here to be entertained. I'm a gentleman on leisure. Ready to play? Yeah. Go <laughs> go convince Greg. He's all slow today. Can do. Hey, Angus. Hey, hey, May. What's up? Uh, nothing. I'm having a very boring week. Jeez, I'm envious. Eh. Hey, dude. You okay? You look tired. Uh, I was up all night. They were fixing the roof door. It was super loud. Roof door? Yeah, the door to the top of the stairs. That goes out into the roof. Now I can be like, I don't know, run from the door down in the lobby up to the roof and be on the side of the building. Yeah, maybe not. But what's to stop random people from doing that too? Dude, it'll be fine. Sorry, I'm just tired. Fair? Ready to go? Yeah, let's do this shit. Pumpkin head guy. Oh, shit. Damn. That breakdown hurts me. Here we go again. Okay. Please don't throw anything harder than that. Not even looking at the lyrics, because I am just absorbed by this hell. I suck. Man, I suck. <laughs> yeah. Wow, mate, that was a uh, pretty bad. That was what was that was? I literally did not know this song. Whew. So fast. You just pushed a button. I am so tired. I strained my vocal cords yelling. 
awesome. I'm gonna sound so husky. And anyway, I don't even know if they're dreams or not. And this guy, who I think is, was a ghost, kidnapped some kid, and also I think it was in my head after a while I was sleeping. And anyway, yeah, I think I need to do something, because this is scary. Well, that's not what I was expecting here tonight. Are you okay, dude? No! I'm kind of freaked out! It probably wasn't a ghost. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, definitely. Ugh. I'll go figure this out myself. Ah, dude, don't be like that. You got us! Uh, dudes. Okay, fine. So we need to maybe see if there's, like, some ghosty stuff happening around here. Like, from a source we can trust? Such as... Does the newspaper have, like, a ghost section? What? Why is that a dumb question? You know, we could go check the library for books about it. No, they have the local paper on file, going back a century. If there's some secret history of kidnapper ghosts, we'll find it there, probably. Oh, wow! I didn't know they had that. I thought it was just, like, a broken-down old bunch of books. When's the last time you were at the library? We actually have one on the nicer one, one of the nicer ones around. Oh, how? Rich dude who paid for it way back when? Yeah, they set up a foundation and... Never mind, let's go. Can we regroup after? Uh, sure. Okay, we'll be back. Woohoo, ghosties. That's the spirit. That song, it was the bane of my life. And I'm fairly certain I missed the get an okay at least on each song. Look, jobs. Weird, like, when this was painted, it was like, Hey, look out the window. We're all working. Things are great. Now it's like one of the graffiti murals after someone gets shot or hit by a car. This mural is really affecting you. I forget. I forget that we live in separate realities. Mine's clearly better. <laughs> Dead. I miss the look jobs and she points towards it from the trailers. Hey. Closing in two hours. Okay, cool. Any idea where the microfish is? Microfe, uh, fiche. Microfiche. Third floor. Okay, thanks. Up, up, up. Slow night? Yep. Spooky here all alone? I'd be spooked. Eh. Larry's wandering around here somewhere. In we go. And then close. Microfiche. Fiche. Well, before we do that, we're going to take a nice look around in the kids section. Holy crap. What? It's Charity Barity. What's Charity Barity? How do you not know Charity Barity? I assume this is something from school. The school of being five freaking years old. All right, so this was a thing you liked as a kid? No, I hated Charity Barity. It does look really hateable. It was like you were kidnapped by a cult. <laughs> you were kidnapped by a cult, and when they were like brainwashing you instead of some cult guy with a wavy dagger and magic mask, that's not, okay, yeah, go on. Instead of that, it was the seven pink nightmare. You were scared of it? No, I was bored to death. He was talking forever about, like, being kind to others and, like, I don't know, helping an old neighbor do engine repair. That sounds nice. Charity Barity helps old Mr. Plonko fix his hovercraft. Ugh, oh, no, that's the worst part. It's always rhymed. Charity Barity, pink nightmarity. Charity Barity, I just don't care -ity. <laughs> Jeez, they sure made a lot of these books. I think they're still making them. This one looks pretty old. Charity Barity, danger everywhere -ity. That's vague and disconcerting. Could have just kept updating that one book. <laughs> and here we see Charity Barity after all these hours first appearing or being mentioned in the good old longest night called Lost Constellations. Looks like someone left something open on this one. It's a resume. Bob Targ. Born 1987. 50 years old. Let's see. Experience mining, construction, well drilling. I never think about getting a job when I'm old. 50 is not really old. I mean, you should have money then, right? Ideally. It should be, like, guaranteed. Should be guaranteed in general. You gonna join my young socialist chatterbox group?
Well, I guess we go up one more floor. Up we go! Going up! Get him! I don't like the color change. Makes it seem... <laughs> oh, wow, it's dusty up here. It's old up here. Sure is. Maybe your ghost is up here? Yep, ghost. Or something. Whatever he was. He walked through a chain link fence. Or flew over it. Or something. While carrying something. Oh, right. Well, that's even more impressive. So we're going to go find this guy. Because he took someone. And he's like, someone connected to this thing I've been going through. And that's not good. That all sounded a lot more badass in my head. It's okay. It was fine. Hmm. The only light coming from this computer. All right. There she is. Cool. Cool. So, I have no idea how to use it. Really? I can't know how to do everything. I'm sorry, but what expertise have you brought to this thus far? This whole thing was my idea. No, your idea was ghost hunting. My idea was to do at least a tiny bit of research on it. If you think it's so stupid, why are we here? Because you're my friend, you asshole. Aww. Ugh. Aw, we twins, B-Twist. Here, let me get this set up. We'll be here all night if your dumbass is in charge. All right, so what are we looking for? I want to steer. No. Move, I'm steering. Ow. Jeez, May. I'm sorry. Okay, 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 how do we do this? Uh, step one, look at the screen. Step two, move around and look at stuff. Step three, find ghost. Sure. Tragedy at Stafford Mine. An explosion occurred at 6.20 a.m. at the Stafford Mine. All work has ceased while men attempt to rescue any survivors. So far, three men have been pulled out alive, along with 20 dead. The explosion occurred 10 miles deep in the mine, and only one group of men were able to escape before the elevator's rope snapped and the new group of men plummeted to their death. So far, hopes of finding more survivors is low. The main path to the tunnel caved in due to explosion, and supervisors are still attempting to piece together exactly where everyone was during the accident. Events. The last trolley will make a run September 14th. Bernie Graw... Bernie Goss, the longest employee with 55 years as an operator, will pick up passengers starting at the Market Street Tunnel entrance and will end at the trolley garage where light re refreshments will be served and a speech will be given by the Congressman Archibald Reed. Twin Club will be meeting at the stag uh, at the Stags on Wednesday night at 6 p.m. This month's craft will be knitted hats for the soldiers along with potluck. All mothers to twins of any age are welcome. Spectral p happenings at Possum Jump. Two local sweethearts were startled this past Sunday night as they hiked along the wooded overlook known as Possum Jump. According to the lovebirds, at approximately 11.45 a.m., a figure appeared to walk from the edge of the cliff on out into the open air and then disappeared. Forestry workers the next morning were unable to locate any evidence of anyone having leapt from a great height, leaving the exact nature of what the two saw a mystery. A decent hike up into the straight... Uh, the State Forest Hills, Possum Jump is famous for its beautiful view of the Echo Reservoir. It also holds historical importance as it hosts the lonely graves of several persons involved in Possum Massacre. Sound off opinion line. We would like to remind the men of our town to please refrain from spitting on the sidewalk. This is unsanitary habit and seem unseemly and beneath you. Parents, please be sure your daughters are not participating in the new trend of skirts showing the ankles. I do not think we need to remind you which road of brimstone this temporary fashion trend will lead our dear daughters down. I have been witnessing more and more teenage girls coming out into our town on a Saturday night unchaperoned, using vulgar slang turns, certainly unfit for me to print here, and blocking the sidewalks by walking arm in arm. They are loud and also flirt with boys, unabashedly while smoking cigarettes. These young ladies in one stop before our young ladies get... In, uh, these young ladies need to be stopped before our young ladies get any ideas or, or our boys will fall for the wrong girl. Young men, you have been seen around Possum Springs engaging in ridiculous behavior of wearing mismatched patterns in their suits. This type of outfit may be all the rage in Bright Harbor, but good luck getting respectable businessmen around here to employ you. You all look like rabid clowns. Councilman Penchewak's plan for third strike three is a joke. What else is there to say? Ghostly rumors haunt new historical society. The Possum Spring Historical Society's conver uh, conversion of the Schrygeist House into its new headquarters and education center has hit a snag. Custodial head Jed Newsom had resigned, citing strange occurrences in the old manor. I, 
I'd be there after hours during my work and I'd hear someone walking around, trying doorknobs. I came out to see who was fooling out there, but nobody was ever there, said Newsom. Trying to get this map room operational for children all the while, I'm looking over my shoulder expecting to see God knows what. Mr. Newsom has previously requested to work only daylight hours while other staff were present in the building, but even that proved to be too terrifying. I don't go... I don't go to the off-limits area anymore. I don't go up past the second floor and then only go to the office. I know the others laugh, say I'm seeing Little Joe or something, but they can all go spit. Little Joe, for the uninitiated, was a local ghost story popular some years ago. The Possum Springs Historical Society has refused to comment on Mr. Newsom's claims at this time. Strike lumbers on. The strike is now in its 30th day with no end at sight. The bosses have refused to meet with the miners, saying their demands are too fantastical. The miners claim they are only asking bosses to adhere to safety standards that are already that are already law. The National Guard was called in after last week's scuffle with the uh, Coulson Coke work. Uh, Coke Works Union has joined the cause, which has caused an upstick in national press arriving at the site. The women's camp has expanded its services from servicing meals to beating any non-union miner from entering the mines. So far, they have been successful in both ventures. Underground gases afflict many. The houses on Larch Street have been evacuated after the discovery of gas buildup in the basements was found to have led to hallucinations and scattered members of the households. For past several weeks, residents have been complaining of family members who began hearing voices or seeing things that were not there. One older woman was found having an animated discussion with an empty chair. When pressed, she claimed she, she calmly explained that she was talking to her sister who had passed away some 50 years ago. Two nights ago, the son of Car Carson Zimmer ran out of the house and in leapt into the Cooper's Pond, a one mile up the road. Moments before this, the child had been readying for bed and, according to other siblings, became increasingly agitated. The last words he uttered were about some sort of song before he dashed out of the house and into the night where his watery grave awaited him. This last event persuaded residents to request help from officials to see if this is related to the St. Louvain's Lantern, a phenomenon where exposure to specific underground gases leads certain victims to experiencing walking dreams, auditory hallucinations, and the sense of unseen presences. Preliminary tests indicate that gas is present in homes and mining officials are moving the residents until more tests can be completed. Ah, oh, well, would you look at that? That might be affecting May. Statue... Samuel Coulson has purchased acres of land afterwards. Local ghost Little Joe added again. As the school children are quick to inform you, Possum Springs has at least one resident who won't show up to, on any consensus, uh, census survey. Little Joe, purportedly the ghost of Joe Shade, a miner who died in a mysterious circumstances some decades ago, is a favorite spook story of, our, of the whimsical and weird members of our community. His most recent activities seem to be involving getting up out of his coffin and in the old section of Possum Springs Cemetery and strolling around, unnerving visitors to the largest graveyard in deep hollow country. His grave has become a destination for unruly and often destructive local use, and as such, Possum Springs Council is considering erecting an iron gate to protect the historical tombstones that fill the small hollow where Joe Shade lies buried. Police have also stepped up patrols in the area, so be warned, thrill seekers, you may not see a ghost, but you may be a fine for pre trespassing. <coughs> Bell's Home Mine Works is partner. Uh, there has been another sighting of the albino groundhog from very reliable sources this time. The Stanley T. Possum statue, known by residents as Posse, is finally slated for demolition. Posse closed in 1967, but Richard Coulson, son of Samuel, had hopes of refurbishing the statue for new generations. Posse stood silent for close to 60 years, witnessing the beginnings and demise of the railroad, the mines, and the coke works that ushered in... Uh, his existence. Teens and other vandals broke into Posse over the years, and climbing all over Posse became a rite of passage for many young people in the area. Residents have been torn over what to do with the beloved but derelict structure over the years, but three years ago, pressure began mounting to have it torn down. A storm knocked off Posse's ear, and, nec uh, and the next year, Ralph Jenkins fell from the staircase and broke both legs. Samantha Coulson, uh, Glick, daughter of Richard, finally agreed that it was time for Posse to go. The demolition will begin 12 p.m. Strike. New old store in Town Center. Tragedy at Stafford Mind. Events. Uh, Strange But True, A Tale of Teeth. Strange But True is our ongoing series about weird forgotten aspects of Deep Hollow. I have a tooth. 
bad bosses figure heavily into uh, Possum Springs history, and this morbid tale of crime and secret societies is no exception. The story goes, in 1870, a local mine boss was skimming workers on their pay. A group of miners confronted him while he was in the act. He denied everything with many a slur and punched uh, the miner's leader, Darnell Glace, in the face, causing him to lose his last remaining tooth. The miners knew how much Darnie's tooth meant to him, and they descended upon the boss. A few held the boss down while the others removed all his teeth, with pliers. The teeth were passed out to the miners, and a secret society was created with a vow to protect the workers' interests. Membership was based on owning one of these teeth, and each was marked with a symbol of their choosing. These symbols were used around Coal Patch to organize meetings and make announcements. The boss survived this attack, but never named his attackers for fear of implicating himself. When he died a few years later, members dug up his grave to retrieve his skull. It was used in ceremonies to perform uh, performed before going out for retribution. All would gather around, place their teeth into the sockets, and later retrieve their tooth after the re uh, retribution was completed. Upon a member's death, their tooth would be passed to a new member. Teeth of members in jail would be left in their sockets until their fates were decided. After the strike of 1889, the society dwindled. Occasionally, a descendant of one of these men will find a tooth with strange markings in their home. I found a tooth. Deep Hollow County mourns. The final group of bodies from the 1888 explosion have been recovered two days shy of the one-year anniversary of the tragedy. These five men bring the total of dead to 112. 112. Two of the men, Addison Pine and Henry Harvey, were the ones who set off the explosion. Although mine bosses have been informed the gas pockets were present in the set section, they elected not to inform Pine and Harvey of the possible danger. The three other bodies belong to Peter uh, Bledsoe, Christian Stanoff, and Peter Lajva. Peter Lodgeless funeral arrangements will be handled by uh, Father Lit Littes, as the main uh, the man's widow has since returned to Hungary with her two with his two orphans. Possum massacre. Severe violence broke out at the Stanford mine strike today. The bosses arrived to attempt to, to renew talks and were taunted by some of the children present. Rocks were thrown, and the National Guard and strike barriers opened fire on the crowd. After a few minutes, the smoke cleared and the gory scene was revealed. Nine miners are dead, with a dozen more injured. A young brother and sister were also shot dead as they were delivering a package of food to their mother, to their father and uncle, who was on strike below, uh, strike below when the shooting broke out. The photograph of the two children, aged seven and nine, who were shot in the cold blood, has circulated far outside our little country. The heinous act led to a personal visit from the governor to the strike site to meet with the strikers. Independent inspectors were also brought in, and talks finally began, 45 days since the start of the strike. The bosses have agreed to comply to the current safety standards and the honor demands of the miners. Well, that's... That's... Bad. Pie piracy. Dear citizens, please make note to keep your pies safe during the pleasant weather we are experiencing. Several ladies have reported pies from their kitchens disappearing at alarming rates. Even worse, the picky culprit is leaving behind only rhubarb pies. Until this criminal is caught, our bad weather returns. We remind our housewives to abuse their pie safers, safes indoors or stick to rhubarb. Well, this was all kind of creepy. Hmm, this is interesting, but yeah, not exactly about a ghost. No ghost to be found here. The way you say ghost, it sounds like you don't believe me. I'll see if she mentions the... Oh, wow, this is gnarly and awesome. Ha ha ha. Oh, my God. You have the tooth, dummy. How about this ghost? Hey, hey, hey! Ghost spotted! Historical society? Yeah, I've never been! You didn't go back to school- back in school? I think this was when I wasn't in school. Oh, after the softball incident. Yeah, mostly just watched TV and did therapy. Well, it's actually a pretty cool old house. It used to be owned by one of the owner- mine owners or something. Railroad, mine, steel, mill, something like that. An actual haunted house! Uh, no. Elementary school kids are there all the time. They have, like, summer arts and crafts programs. Oh, well, still worth checking out. This one? No ghost. No ghost here. Oh, look! Sky... Scooch, so I can see. Graveyard, that's a gimme. I mean, if you're looking for ghost stuff. 
that's where they make a lot of them. Looks like they saw him in the old section. Oh, cool, that's where his grave is. I'm actually interested in that. How could you not be interested? This is like actual dangerous ghost stuff. I like history. Ghost or history? History that won't stay history. <laughs> that's actually pretty good. No ghost here. No comment on all this. No ghost here. Let's take a look around. We need to find more ghosts. I guess because you already commented on that. No ghost here. Possum jump. Yeah, this is the next one. Hey, look at this. Mm, yeah, looks like possum jump. Let me read it. It's possum jump. Okay, yeah, that's back up in the state park, right? Yeah. Ever been up there? Nope. Gonna check it out, though. Go nuts. That's actually probably only a mile, uh, well, to so, uh, a mile to or so from uh, Mrs. Miranda's house. Back up in the hills. All kinds of stuff up there. Well, I'll try to avoid any basements or corpse husbands. Consigned. Cosigned. Okay, well, that's three leads. Let's boogie. Let's boogie. Also, is that it? Three clues. We got three leads. You're a regular detective. May Brasky, a detective of ghosts. All right, all right, let's go. Probably, there might have been another one, but I don't think so. So we've got some leads. Can I borrow your car this week? Do you even have a license? I mean, no, regardless, but do you? Nope. No license, no credit cards, don't believe in money. You just believe in other people's cars and money. I didn't choose to be born into this society. Okay, well, I have, you know, a job, so I can't drive you around to all these spots. I can maybe do the graveyard. I need to go there anyway. Cool, I'll see if Greg wants to do the other two. You know, like, you know, like, and I probably don't have, you have to say this, but just because something happened in the past doesn't mean it's going to happen again. Hey, nerd, ever hear that history repeats? It does. It does the same thing over and over again. So we've just been in a loop since we were living in caves. Yeah, that's science. Oh my freaking god. <laughs> Didn't run into your friend. Ahem. What is... Shh. Is that Miss Quelsey? Wow, I haven't seen her since graduation. She was always kind and kind of a badass. School district did not fund that art program at all, but she made it work. She was like some sort of art teacher survivalist. Wow, I never realized. I think they pay her in bits of strange and empty soda cans. Thank you all for coming to this second meeting of the Possum Springs Poetry Society. Do you want to stick around for this? Yeah. Tonight we have new poems from myself and Fisherman Jones and Selma Ann Forrester. I will start us off with one of my own. She's from some big city, right? Oh, it's the lady. My bad. Yeah. How'd she end up here? Who knows? Ahem. Letter to my worst student. To my worst student. The subject of my stories. I tell friends back home. When they ask about life out here in the sticks, it's you. I worry. At the end of my life, you will be the only one I remember. Why did you key my car? I know it was you, Brian. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Poor Miss Quelsey. At least she's blowing off some steam. Next up, Fisherman Jones. Fisherman Jones is a poem for us. Two. Two poems. They're short, though. Two poems. Take it away. Uh, hi, folks. Thanks. This is called Tunnel Eels. Tunnel Eels, Tunnel Eels. I did, do not know how it feels to be in darkness all this time, born in muck and raised in slime. But neither do you know paths I've trudged, so it is hardly your place to judge. Okay, that's one poem. The next one is shorter. This is called Tunnel Frogs. Tunnel Frogs swim the dark. Must think it would be a lock to be a fisherman like me. But what, but what do you know, amphibie? That's it. That's great. Thank you, Fisherman Jones. <laughs> Dude is really worried about the what fish think. <laughs> that tunnel always spooks me. Finally, a poem by Selma M. Forster. Yay, Summers! Thanks, May. You know her? Dude, she's like our your neighbor. Oh. She writes these really funny, dorky, shorty poems. I'm up for something short and funny. This is called There's No Reception in Possum Springs. Ha ha ha. She's not wrong. 
Ahem. No reception here. I wave my black phone. In the air like a flare, like a prayer, but no reception. I read on the internet, babyface boy billionaire. Phone app sold, made more money in one day than my family over a hundred generations. More than my whole world ever has. World warehouse buying jobs became rent paying jobs, became living with family jobs. Boy billionaires. Money is access, access to politicians, waiting for us to die, lead in our, lead in our water, alcohol and painkillers. Replace my job with an app, replace my dreams of a house and a yard with a couch in the basement. The future is yours. Force 24-7 intra, uh, entrepreneurs. I just want a paycheck and my own life. I'm on the couch in the basement and there in the, the house in the yard. Some night, I, some night I will catch a bus out to the west coast and burn their silken city down to the ground. Holy shit. Wow, damn. Huh, she rhymed in trumpener. I can't say, can't say the word! I don't even know what that word means. Thanks, everyone. Is she always like this? No. Wow. Huh. Thanks, everyone. See you in two weeks. Hey, Selmers. What? I liked your weird poem. Thanks, I wrote it myself. Wait, was that assumption that I she didn't write it hers? Nice work, S Smeller. I don't like that nickname. What are you two... Sorry. It's cool. Can we go now? <laughs> Poets of Possum Springs. Yay! Okay, thanks for coming. We live here. Right, so... Find out about your ghost. Yeah. Tell him, Bia. There were some newspaper clippings that talked about a ghost. Not just any ghost, Little Joe. I don't really remember Little Joe. He's a ghost miner. He died in mysterious circumstances. Wow! I know, right? Mysterious. I thought you were, like, afraid of this ghost. Like, filled with, like, dread and shit. I'm terrified! Okay. So it mentioned three different places we can all check out. Uh, I have work and stuff. Yeah, Greg and I also have work. You guys skip out on work all the time. Maybe we can, like, split this up. Share custody of you and your ghost. What places were you thinking about? Uh, the graveyard. I call that one. It's close and not illegal. Is there an illegal one? Sure is, the Historical Society. You know, you don't have to, like, break in. The people there, like, get paid to show you, show it to you. I'm in for the Historical Society. Awesome! So what do, what do I get stuck with? Possum Jump. <gasps> I know Possum Jump. We used to go there in scouts. Perfect! Okay, I need to, like, actually get home and do work. This is gonna be awesome! And also, I'm scared to death! <laughs> I love these characters. They were all my babies. They were adorable and they all lovely. <laughs> Good poet. Thought, if I die, someone should write a poem about it. Ah, oh, sweet. Ugh. Yeah, seemed like this is going around. The erg. Yeah, Briz. So, uh, you and Mom had a bit of a fight yesterday, huh? Yeah. I thought you two were getting along? We are. Just a bump. You two, always two alike. I guess. I, I got your chill and her smartassness. I just hate to see you two out on the outs again. It'll be fine. We're cool. So we're having money problems? What? No. We're fine. Dad. May, it's fine. It's okay. I'm Twitty. I can handle it. Nothing to handle. Okay. Might just head up to bed tonight. Sounds good, kid. Been a long couple days. May's dad is cool. He's nice. Anything over here for the nights? Nope. Check computer, go to bed. Hope that I don't end up dead inside my dreams. Witch dagger! Oh, they're all metal. Hey, let me know when you want to hit the cemetery. I should be around most nights this week. I don't know. Thanks, Bia. Don't thank me too hard. I'm going there anyway, and it's, like, right down the road. You're running this. Oh, in that case, you are so incredibly welcome, and also, you better not forget this big favor. That's more like it. I'm falling asleep. Have had fun tonight. Sorry if I was grouchy. It's just... It's fine. Wait, did you fall asleep? Lol. Yo, look up the Historical Society on the internet. It's real old, but they did a big renovations. Oh, really? I mean, listen, I'm not saying there's a ghost, but old stuff that just got torn up seems like Ghost Central. How so? Your 
you're a ghost hanging out in an old house, and then some someone puts in a pool where you died or something. Haunted pools would actually be pretty scary. I'm spooked. I'm going to bed. Hey, May. Let me know when you want to go to the park. I looked up a map, and it's pretty straight shot jump to possum jump. Okay, great. We never really get a chance to hang out. It'll be fun, I think. I'm going to sleep. Night, sir. Tips hat. Bright Harbor Post. Is Autumn secretly killing you? Hello, BuzzFeed. Fuck off. Bedtime. I'm so adorable. So far, my only regret from this entire thing is not going out on a nice adventure of smashing light bulbs of Greg. It will haunt my dream memes. My dream memes. Oh no!